Back music. Hello. Oh, wait a minute. Are closed captions on? Their dashboard changed. What the? I'm gonna guess it's on. It's not a Wells. Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa, Mr. Tok, hello, how are you doing? Ooh, hello, Mr. Sean. Sorry I missed your stream, man. I was out running errands when you went live. How'd your stream go? Can we get, please get Kek back? Wait, who removed Kek? I like Kek W. Okay, we'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. Uh, what is it? BTTV? Let's see. It's been gone for a while. Sag. Uh, what replaced it? Hold on, let me see. Channel emotes. Is it BTTV? No, or is it Frankerface? No, it's Frankerface. Whoops, I got the wrong one. It's Frankerface Z that has more slots. Oh god, it's so bright. Emotes. Uh, my... No, not my submissions. Channels. Types. Okay. Okay, hold on. I need it. This is way too bright. Ah, there we go. Okay, chat. Uh, crap. Damn it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. You guys want Keck W? Why is Keck W? I love my mom. Uh, how do I erase this? This has been too long since I've done this. Kek W, I think I just click here. Remove from my channel. Okay, we have one free slot out of 50. Mm, oh! Why is it still 50? Okay, there we go. Okay, so. Here. Kek W. Kek W. Add to my channel. Alright. It's enabled again. What other emo- What? Oh. Okay, what other emails does chat want? It might take a while for it to propagate. Ayaya is please ban me. What? Dude, I feel like chat doesn't even use half of these emotes. Maybe I need to refresh chat. Hold on, let me refresh. Oh, it's still... <laughs> Any other emotes you guys want? Oh wait, I see Kek W. Alright, Kek W is working again. Uh, it's taking a little bit to load on my overlays though. No, it still hasn't loaded on my overlays. Well, it shows up on my, my OBS chat, so it's okay. Oh wells. <laughs> Please get rid of Keck W. Why? Keck W is so good. How was your guys' this weekend? Uh, before we get to the build, we do have one thing to unbox. So let's get to that. What coffee today? Uh, it's the coffee bean that the viewer sent last week. Worst emote on Twitch. You're the worst emote on Twitch. Have you given that a thought? Mm -hmm. Is that a Herman Miller Aaron? Yes, it is. 
Is that the mug you recommend? Oh, when? Hello. Uh, yeah, for Caroline and as a gift. It's good for streamers. Since I talk a lot and I forget to drink coffee. Just filter it if you hate it so much. Well, you can filter emotes on Twitch. What? Rip God emoji wallet? Hello, Mr. Kristong. Uh, let's get to the alerts. So drop. Thank you so much for the two gifted subs. Uh, Kel. Call a Lily Van. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Lemon Tamago. Thank you so much for the six months. Rip L Receipt. Oh yeah, the, the man behind Keck W did pass away. I did see. Feels bad. GMK buy things the eight months. Croissant was the 25 months. Please check DM BB. Okay, I'll check after stream. Uh Fishlium, thank you for the bits. Silly drop, thank you for gifting a sub again. Who that winky list? Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Wind spice with the prime. NHZH Pub, thank you for the two months. Is that a heated mug? Yes, it is. Mod Tarsier, thank you for the 100 bits. Frog with the prime, Papa Mad One with the six months, thank you. Poo 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 poo. Oh, Dayong, thank you for the four months. Mixed, the thank you so much for the five months. My friends shit on me on the fact that I like GMK white on black. Your friends have bad taste. Mr. Tolk with the four months, Seven Kevin with the two, Pew Pew Laser with the five, Blow J with the 17 months, thank you. Brendan with the six, uh, Fins 2 with the nine, Pro Sumer Steve with the six months, Sharp Soak, things with the 11 months. Milk count with the 10. Everybody name be tooketh. Things are the prime sub. And I am caught up. All right. Whoa, Gio. Hello, Mr. Tay. I just ordered my Mamiya. Wait, which Mamiya did you get? Thank you so much for the 25 months. How are you doing? Dang, Gio's about to get into film too? What the? All right, we got one thing to unbox. Just one. And then we'll be on our way with the build. Dope shirt, my man. Thank you. I'm in need of a haircut. Feels bad. Right, this is a little old. Forget when this was delivered. Have you ever mill maxed the board and is it worth it? I have. Uh, for me, it's not really worth it. I don't really... I don't really swap up my switches that much. Oh, what a surprise! We've got more Team Liquid merch. OMG, the bunny's so cute. Oh yeah, the desk mat. Wait a minute. Team Liquid makes button-ups now? What? Okay, hold on. What is this? Okay, let's start with the small one first. What? Hello. Clackies X Team Liquid. Oh my goodness. Their merch line is off the charts. How do I... Oh! Wow! Keyboard people about to make stocks. Looks like this is the Team Liquid horse. This is the chibi version. <sighs> Everyone remind- okay, when I will do it. Just relax. I need to, uh... I'm gonna grow my hair out a little <laughs> more. Wow, this is so cool. They have their own keycaps now. We'll check it out. Okay. Let's check out this button up. What? Who liquid makes button ups now? Are you serious? Young. Oh my goodness, they actually have a button up. <laughs> okay, I guess I gotta wear it. That button up is cray? I wonder what the retail price on this is. No price tag. They have an Oxford button up shirt. For the respectable gamer. <laughs> I even sent you example pics. Yeah, I know, but I gotta grow my hair out for it. Hey. 
Time to go back to my 9 to 5 job, guys. Psych! Software engineers don't dress up to work. Alright, guess we're streaming like this today. The only team liquid I recognize is me pooping after my AM coffee. What? The shirt is 60 US dollars? It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since I've purchased a button up shirt. I forget if 60 is a lot. Wow, not the 9 to 5, Teha. Yeah, I don't miss the 9 to 5 life. It costs 60? I see. Doctor Who, hello! Puja Teha, what do you mean? $60 isn't a lot, especially if it's good quality. Okay. So it's got their logo. Hmm, I don't know about this though. Could you wear this to an interview? <laughs> Dang it! Well, either way, if you want to rock a unicorn to your interview, you can do that. If you're interviewing with TL, sure. Yeah, I guess if you're interviewing for a Team Liquid position, you could uh, simp with their button-up shirt. Um, John a Thick, thank you for the seven months. Mr. Roach with the three months, thank you. Booty Licker 69, nice, with the 15 months. No Grin with the tier one. K, thank you for the 10 months. Lost LT with the two months. Uh, thoughts on, on upcoming key sets that would go with an ultramarine feel? I don't know about upcoming. Maybe GMK Birch might look nice. Quiver MS with a 26 months. Emmy Desi with a 2 months. Cali Biscuits with a 16 months. Thank you. Nearly Nate with a bits. Ronnie Lowe with a 21 months. Thank you, thank you. Okay, one last item. This looks like a crew neck. <laughs> Ooh, it is a crew neck. Ooh, with an embroidered logo. Wow. I'm not much of a crew neck guy though. I should get more into crew necks though. I have too many hoodies. I've been like selling off some of my hoodies. I should get some crew necks. Okay, this also looks nice too. Team, team, team liquid rep. Whoa, Kevin, hello! Taya looking like a snack. Okay. All right, thank you, Team Liquid. Or I should say Damien. I don't know if I'm gonna keep getting Team Liquid stuff though. Damien moved on. He now works at 100 Thieves. So maybe this is the last ever of my Team Liquid care packages. Since my connect that Team Liquid. They have moved on to a new team. Maybe, maybe I get 100 Thieves merch. That'd be dank. <laughs> All right, now you'll not get a hundred thieves merch, dude. If I get a hundred thieves merch, I mean I'm down. I've never tried their merch, but it seems like they're killing the merch. They will send me merch that doesn't look like the bro man. Sign this man to hundred thieves keyboard team. Actually, you guys, you know what? It is time to change my desk mat. I've been using this for a while. Is it time to use the bra mat? Bra mat or riot? <laughs> okay, fine. We'll use the bra mat. Let us retire the bunnies. For today's stream, oh god, it's gonna have trouble focusing. Mr. Glarsis will be overseeing the build. Thieves merch, yeah, it's nice, I guess, but the Tia Types merch, whew, amazing. Yeah, Tia Types merch in the works. 
bring the bunnies back. This is it for the bunnies. They must go. Do bunnies run? Do they hibernate? Well, they're gonna go hibernate. that doesn't work in here what do you mean i recently built my first keyboard with telios v2s nice nice okay here we have oh wait box last this is the first gift serving the channel. Autofocus? Yeah, this is the one bad thing about bro, man. <laughs> There's nothing for it to focus on. Okay, the sticker comes off nice. Alright. Again. We have got on our hands a Neo Element G67 prototype. Um, I don't know if you guys have been following the the uh, interest check or the project. I don't even know if it's public. I actually haven't checked the GeekHack post. But there's going to be three models of this, I believe. There's going to be the G67. Uh, aluminum top and bottom, sandblasted and anodized, and they are going to expect a price point of 260 to 280. Then there's an Element Plus G67, which is a aluminum top, sandblasted and seracoded, full brass bottom, zircon blasted, and nano coated, which is 420 to 450 dollars expected. And the model we have here today, this is the Neo Element Ultimate G67, which is stainless steel top and bottom, brushed exterior, zircon blasted interior, and also nano coated. All right, let's see what that means. I think they need a longer name. <laughs> I don't know if this packaging is final. This is a prototype. Let's see what comes in the box. All right, we get a Neo microfiber cloth. Don't need. Got some. Oh, these are old gaskets. I think we have, we were sent new gaskets actually. Or maybe that was the gasket. No, I think these might be the gaskets. Okay, whatever, more gaskets. So we got sent a plate. Is that keyboard the one? I don't know if this is the, ooh, we got sent a carbon fiber plate. Interesting. Okay, we have carbon fiber. Then the case. Ooh. Ooh. The zircon blasted nano coated Stainless steel. Let us take a look. Oh, this is heavy. Okay, so it comes with foam. Oh. What do you think of the comes with a PCB. I actually don't know who designed the PCB. Ah, she! I can't just pull this out. Oh, just kidding, I can. Ooh. So this is Zircon Blasted. I don't know. I'm not an expert on Zircon Blasting and Nano Coating, but... Oh, it's shaking. Here you go. Mm. 
The bottom looks brushed. It does look brushed. But according to them, oh no, it is. Okay, they're like, I like brushed exterior, zircon blasted interior. So this is zircon blasted. But you can see a lot of the like machining streaks. I don't know, is this, <laughs> was this not blasted well enough? Cause you can definitely see the lines. Um, the brushed aesthetic though, I mean, you guys already know I'm a fan. We saw the brushed look with, what was it? Uh, it was on the, the Singa, the Jaguar, had a brushed brass weight. This might be the first brushed stainless I've seen in person though, just personally. But it looks nice. I do like the brushed look. Oh wow, that is a giant... What? <laughs> that is a gaping hole for the USB-C port. Hopefully this is just a prototype design. I love brushed metal. Yeah, brushed metal definitely looks nice. I am a fan. As long as it's done well and it's consistent. Oh. Oh, she! Looks like the unit came scuffed. <laughs> Bro, you have a daughter board? Oh, you're talking to the designer, not me. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if they mentioned anything about this. Uh, you'll notice some cosmetic flaws. Okay. Um... Ah, yes. USB port cutout will be different on final production version. Um, yes. Okay, so this is a prototype. They It will be fixed. <laughs> they just left this there for the prototype. I'm guessing they were not initially going to have... I don't know, maybe they were confused about the daughter board. But the production will have uh, this fixed. Okay, let's weigh this out. Unbuilt, just a case. <laughs> it's been teared. Okay, so this does have the daughter board. That's not gonna affect the weight too much. 2,588 grams. 5 pounds, 11.3 ounces. Just six, oh, close to six pounds, just for the case. It's got weight. It's got weight. Yeah. It's just like me saying, let Archangel, thank you so much for the five months, six, six, six smoke, thank you for the six months. Like Prime sub, boosting the foreign of it. So what do you think of the mode 65? I hope it's nice. I mean, I haven't played with, around with it, so I can't really say much about it. Um, Michael's chair thing for two months. I wonder if you can rate my build here. Rate your build. Sure, I guess we could rate builds. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Small 2.0. Wow. <laughs> this looks painful and dumb. <laughs> it's cute. I mean, I guess it's cute, but this keyboard is also kind of dumb. Like you you made a layout worse than a 40%. But then you added this giant bezel. So the footprint's pretty much the same as a standard 40% I, I would say. Why? <laughs> it looks cute though. Everyone talking about how it's cute. 
It looks cute though. But definitely not for me. <laughs> okay. Um, Urban Lime, thank you so much for the 420 tip. Any sh oh, any sheeshers in chat? Sheesh! Big Dog Right with a Prime sub. Thank you so much. Lost RT, LT, thank you so much for gifting Glarsa as a sub. John Yoon, thanks for the tier one sub as well. It's John Nguyen, thanks for the 15 months, 100 team merch, pre comfy and thick. Nice. Stu Daddy, thanks for the three months, G Oliver with the 15 months, Rainbow Illuminati, thanks for the five months. And I am caught up. Oh. Oh, whoa, interesting. Holy crap, what the fudge? This looks like... Jesus. I think this was hand soldered or something. Look at all this flux. Oh boy, I hope this PCB works. <laughs> Man, that, that controller... I think this might have been hand soldered. I've only I've only been sent one PCB. Let's hope it works. Okay. <laughs> made with love? Yeah. Definitely made with love. not via ported. I see. Who made this PCB? Is it them? Ash. Okay, I don't see any anyone's logo other than Neo, so I'm gonna guess this was they made this themselves. Do you still use Clubhouse? I do not. I should probably uninstall Clubhouse. I have not opened Clubhouse in months. You should modify your connect and disconnect sounds on Windows. Nah. I'm okay with the default. It's an endearing sound at this point. Huh? Clubhouse is kind of dumb. Yeah, I don't see them lasting. A while longer. Flarsis looks kind of sus, yeah. Despite the, despite all the overflowing flux, looks like the PCB does work fine. And this, this is a prototype once again, keep in mind, so uh, hopefully the f production units are much more polished. Like the PCB works fine. Nice. Nice. Too. How are your cats? My cats are doing great. Did you get a personal 7V? I didn't. Why is this so hard? I did not. Unfortunately. 
I just got into photography, hobby, and just got the Sony a7R 3 as your first Wow, your first camera is a Sony a7R 3 Damn. <laughs> That's a good starting out camera. Unless you've been in photography before, but... That's a pretty dink starting off camera. Okay, let's check the plate. Left shift fixed. Uh, enter backspace. I want to say that's 70. What do you think about Gat Yellow? I like Gat Yellows. Ooh. And. Almost out of equalizers. 24 cent switch champ? Yeah. My first was a Nikon D5500 Omega LOL. Nice. I think the first, well, um, the first like nice camera I played around with was probably the, the D90. But it wasn't mine. I had a friend who let me um, use it for a while. And then I, I played around with the D90 for a bit. And then the first, uh, like camera that I purchased was the D7000. That was the first one I ever purchased. I don't, I wonder, do people still use the D7000? Probably not, right? That's way too old. That is way too old. I went D3K, 7K to 810, nice. Do you still have any Alps customs in your personal? I don't have any customs Glarsis, but I have a lot of Alps parts. I'm just waiting for the right board to come out <laughs> to build an Alps build with. But no, I, you're, the answer to your question is no, I do not, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Oops, that's wrong. One. Super Megusta, things are the nine months flip cruise, things are the tier one D I D3 GN, things are six months. Okay, let's figure out what space mark this is. Seven U? Seven U does fit. We'll try out 7U and pray it works. Uh, D7000 was also my first and I mainly use my mirrorless Olympus Pen F. Ooh. I do want to buy another camera, but it doesn't have to be crazy. I just want a, a decent stills camera. Because at the new place, I now have a photo room, so I want to just have a stills camera there. And I'm wondering if I should stay with Canon or pick up a new brand. I'll sell you my D810. Wait, that's kind of expensive. Isn't the 810 kind of expensive though? Alex Alto's built in 7U and it was scuffed. It was scuffed? Uh-oh, why? Okay, we'll see. Did the plate not fit or what? Switch to GoPro? <laughs> Didn't you get that super expensive cam? I did get a super expensive camera, but that is video only. It does not do stills. There is D850. Yes, I know there is a D850. Um, so not so much. I'll let it go for 1500. Do I want Nikon though? I have to buy a whole new set of glass. 
Check PCB and plate alignment for right alt on 7U. I see, okay. Check. Any interest in square format or twin lens? I have one square format camera. My Hasselblad 500CM. 500, 503, 5. I forget which which are the 500, but I have a 500 series. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see. I mean, I don't I don't need a new camera. It would just make my life easier if I don't have to dismantle my streaming camera to use it for photography. Not not that I do a whole lot of photography though, but. I think you would enjoy Fuji. I was considering Fuji since it would primarily just be a stills camera. I don't need it to do video. I want to see what this Fuji color hype is all about on their digital cameras. I need to do some research. Switch to Mother Nature's camera, your eyeballs. Get a digital... Oh, Jason, hello! Get a digital back for the Hassie. I guess, isn't that expensive though? <laughs> Any input on the TGR Tomo and when you'll build one? Um, I believe I am being sent one to build. I don't know when, but I I do know the, uh, the folks over at Monoke, they are trying to get one out to me before the group buy starts, so. Uh, I'm just going to reserve all judgment until I have it on hand. But from what I can tell, it seems like it's retained a lot of the TGR aesthetic. But I, I am curious as to how it'll be. Yeah. Wait, group buy starts in three days? Oh, you're right. That is the 28th. Well, looks like that's not happening. <laughs> I don't think they've shipped one out. Unless they did, and I just haven't, they just haven't sent tracking for me, but hopefully they get, get one to me before the group by ends. Uh, get a large format, okay. Hey Teha, how important is networking when trying to find a job in engineering? Ooh. Well, networking isn't just for engineering. I would say networking is important, period. You should, you should always be looking to invest and networking regard regardless of the field <clears throat> what if they delay the group by that's not up to me i have no idea i found my job from networking yeah networking is huge Being employed even as an engineer is at least 50% about being liked and networking is one way to show that to other people. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, I think that applies to me too. I think one of the biggest reasons why, you know, I've kind of grown bigger than other keyboard creators is because I did networking right. Uh, I, I networked with a lot of people on here on Twitch and it paid off. And I, I think if anything, like my biggest, my biggest value probably is like the network that I've built. <clears throat> it's because of your redos. What do you mean my redos? <laughs> yeah, I, if I had to name the one thing that really made me stand out in the in the early days of the hobby, at least. I don't know about now, but in the early days of the hobby, it was my networking. It's fund fundamentally, keyboard streamers don't do anything different, really. Every keyboard streamer, I would say pretty much the same. 
<clears throat> and your good looks, man. Imagine being good looking. I wish I was good looking. Uh, Master Yeet, thank you so much for the host. Radar Noise, thank you for the four months. Super Megusa with Nymus, thank you. Thank you, thank you. What do you define as networking? I define networking as uh, building relationships with other people. And ideally, it's not, well, I guess also depends whether it's strictly for business or you, you genuinely approach someone to become friends, but I think having, I think having networking beyond the business terms is probably what made, is probably what made me grow, I think. Hey, if you're not good looking, then what am I? You are probably better looking than I am. Here I was thinking you were talking about networking as an internet. No, we're not talking about that. <laughs> Most keyboard streamers are the same, but Ling fries steaks on his keyboard. He's really doing something special. Oh, I haven't seen his streams. <laughs> Some people have it all. Yeah, like Redacted S. Redacted S, guys. One of those people that have it all in life. Very smart. Extremely funny. He's tall. Good looking. Has a girlfriend. In med school. He's just too gifted. You're describing me, baby? Dang, Arthur. <laughs> oh, we're gonna use a Dragon Ball's loop today. Crystal Crab David, things are the prime sub. Jerry one bear thing in the 10 months. Hello, how's your new place? It's good. I finally bought a bed. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a house tour video. I am finally replacing my bed though, that I've kept since, that I've kept since my college days. <laughs> I've had this bed, it's not even a bed. I don't have a bed, but I finally bought a bed after many years. It's a nice chin. Yes, I'm staring at Tejas chin. <laughs> All right, Glarsis. Dude, ooh, I just gave Glarsus some sunglasses. Look at this. Look at his dope shades. <laughs> ooh, I, oh, this is a lot. I have a question. Do you guys, does chat have any mattress wrecks? I've been sleeping on the same mattress that I just bought off Amazon since college. I feel like now it's time to invest in a mattress. I've gotten a little older. You know, my back doesn't work like it used to. What's a good mattress? Casper or purple? I see. Bro, invest in a bomb ass mattress. Well, okay, I'm not gonna go too ham on a mattress, but I would like to upgrade from my Amazon mattress. Nectar is amazing. Ooh, Nectar. Purple legit doesn't feel nice to me. Wait, what? Someone said they don't like purple? You have to try it. Uh, I see. I, ha I have heard mixed reviews about purple. It's like that grid structure, right? Some people don't like it. What happened to finger? I cut it. Oh, shh. I cut my finger. <laughs> I was uh, I was cleaning my knife, and I did a little little oopsie. Some CC recently complained after Casper QC. What's CC? Credit card? You should go ham on the mattresses where you sleep. Mm, I see. 
Did you end up finding an orthodontist? I have not found an orthodontist. I don't know how to begin to look for orthodontists. Is there a Yelp for orthodontists? Yeah, I'm thinking of maybe... Well, if you guys haven't heard, there is a big life event coming up next year. So I'm thinking maybe I should invest in some uh, braces before that. Braces or Invisalign? If I qualify. <clears throat> If you have a normal dentist, you can ask for a recommendation. I don't have a dentist out here in Los Angeles either. Invisalign is sick. Yeah, ideally I would, I mean, I know Invisalign is more expensive, but I don't, I don't want to put out videos where I'm wearing braces at the age of 47. So I think I'm just gonna dish out for Invisalign. Yeah, because if I get braces, I'm about to put out videos online that'll stay up there for the rest of eternity. And it's just gonna be a grown man talking funky with braces. I don't know if I could live with that. <laughs> Invisalign doesn't work. Yeah, I know, I know you do need to qualify for Invisalign. So I'm hoping my changes are feasible. Otherwise, I've heard there's also a, there's like a clear braces you can get. Or what, I think, I forgot what the terminology, white braces? I forget what it's called. But it's a little less apparent. Maybe I'll look into that. Um, that's the same situation I'm in. I don't want to be this old with braces. Solder switches on your braces. Okay. Um... There are braces that goes on the inside. Oh yeah, I've heard of braces where instead of doing it on the front, they are inside. That seems a little spooky though. I don't know if I want to do go that far. Lingual braces, is that what they're called? Yeah, I worry for my tongue. Uh, have you tried the holy mod? I have not. Uh, K-Town Orth... Quan Ortho and K-Town does lingual braces. I see... Okay. Yeah, I mean, if any of my viewers... Any, any orthodontists in chat... <laughs> let me know. Calling all orthos in chat, yeah. Any orthos in chat, please rise up. Um, Dag thinks of a tier one. Lyrius X thinks of a six months. Brugent thinks of a prime. Crystal Crab David thinks of a prime set. Can I use Crytox 205 grade zero on my stabs? Yes, 205 grade zero works perfectly fine. What lube are you using? This is Crytox XHT DBZ. This is overkill for stabilizers. It's more expensive than 205 grade zero. 205 grade zero works perfectly fine. I'm just using this because I have some to use. Um, willing to trade Invisalign for Jane CE. Wait, what? Do you offer Invisalign services? Um, cozy Attic, thank you so much for the 11 months, thank you. Day and night, hello! Oh yeah, I also should say, I finished, I finally finished Breaking Bad last night. What a show. <laughs> I can't believe I finished it. Yeah, season five was pretty dank. It was so intense. I thought seasons one through four were like intense and then season five, whoo, sheesh. 
dude. Have me sweating. <clears throat> now watch El Camino? Okay. Yes, Zaddy. Please don't watch El Camino. Oh. D we have some mixed opinions on which to watch next. Maybe I take a break from 3D TV and I go back to 2D TV. I'm a... I started Vinland Saga two weeks ago. I do need to finish that. I need to escape. I need to escape from this drug-filled drama. Villain, very nice. Better call Saul so, so bad. Wait, there's such polarizing opinions in chat. Mr. Robot is low-key crazier than Breaking Bad. Ooh, I do want to watch Mr. Robot. Uh, Mr. Robot. What's the other one? A Westworld, I heard, also is really good. want to watch those. You should watch Jujutsu Kaisen? Dude, I'm already watching Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm waiting for the next season. I liked Better Call Saul. I see. Westworld is so-so. Yeah, I heard Westworld starts off really strong and then it gets whatever. Uh, Mr. Robot definitely on my list. Heard Mr. Robot is phenomenal. Watch Chernobyl. Oh, I heard good stuff about Chernobyl too. Okay, let's see if we have any issues with our seven new space bar. Chernobyl is GOAT? Dang. Chernobyl is easily top five show. Dang. Peaky Blinders? Ooh, I do want to watch Peaky Blinders too. It is on Netflix. That is a show I also that is on my list. Mr. Teha really backed up in his shows. I didn't watch many shows growing up. I don't either still. Yeah, I, I just studied crap. I was a big nerd growing up. Didn't watch too many shows. If I did watch shows, a lot of it were Korean shows. <laughs> is that a rock? Yes, this is a rock. Yep, rock. House of Cards. Ooh, I also have not watched House of Cards. Yeah, I haven't watched many shows. I also haven't watched Dexter. What else? What else have I not watched? Not a man of culture? No, it's not. A, I do want to watch it. It's just I never had the time. Dexter got bad. Is that sh no, it's not Shungite. It is just a rock. It's a regular rock. Not Shungite. Uh, Lake Geneva, thanks for the 11 months. <clears throat> Nummy Pad with the three months, thank you. Sir Wills with the five months. Arthot with the eleven months, thank you. Are you into fountain pens and other stationary hobbies? I would be if I had the means to, but I am not at the moment. Does the keyboard in your intro have a specific name or is it just some random 40% you made? It does not have a name. Uh, it just kind of was made for the intro. It does not exist. Don't plan on making it exist either. Have you 
we tried holy i have not tried holy mod man i need to make a command for holy mod i have not tried holy mod chat Please sub only chat. The holy mod questions are getting out of hand. Is it time to bring back sub only? Try it then. I see no need to though. My method works perfectly fine. And this probably, probably saves a lot of time too. Boo, sub only boo. <laughs> um, okay, seven new step. Fits here. Lubing doesn't seem to actually resolve the underlying issue of rattle, though. What do you mean? It does. If you fill the hole with enough lube and the right lube, it does solve the underlying problem of rattle. Hey, ha, what's your stack? Uh, you mean like my audio stack? Do you like XHT BBZ more than Crytox? Um, so far it's been working fine. It is, it's extremely thick. So I guess, I guess I do like it in that sense, but I don't know if it's worth the extra cost. It's definitely really expensive. Okay, so chat was saying, wait, mine seems to be fine though. What kind of clearance issues did Alex have? I don't know, my plate seems to sit fine. Unless I am missing something. I've been using Super Lube. Yeah, people have been using Super Lube for years too. Super Lube also works. Um, I don't know, maybe the Holy Mod requires less, less finessing. And if that's worth the extra time and effort for you, then that's okay. You don't have to build keyboards one way. Hi, it's my first stream. Hello, welcome. What is the issue? Oh, I don't know, my switch seems fine. Is it real carbon fiber or just wrapped? Uh, <laughs> it is real carbon fiber. Yeah, it's getting hot. Do you consider yourself as a confident person? Huh, do I consider myself a confident person? No, not really. Um, I don't think I have crippling... I don't think I have a crippling case of being like, not confident enough. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a confident person. Um... 
I have crippling overconfidence. Wow, I don't know what that feels like. <laughs> Having crippling overconfidence. I imagine it feels good though. Feel like you could do anything. Put in the right alt switch on 1.5 cap to make sure it aligns. Okay. Right alt. Oh, I see. It's ever so slightly off. Okay. Looks like the right alt isn't sitting very minimal though. Well, let's see. Let's see how it is with the keycap. I still don't get the, I still don't have the hang of uh... what the fudge? <laughs> Wait a minute, that's a massive gap. Is this what the other streamers experienced too? That's that's a big gap. <laughs> that's not normal. Wait, does going 625 fix this? Uh, oh, okay. Looks like I just got an email then. I must use 625. Okay. Uh, this will be fixed for the production run. Looks like there is an issue with the 70. worries just need to replace the wire I have to get going can I have my 50k back for the push-ups oh wait did you someone claim push-ups hold on I can do it uh, twitch unfortunately does not have an API for alerting through dashboards when their rewards are claimed okay I will do your 10 push-ups it's like eighty dollars, eighty cents worth of lube. Yes, yeah, Sag. So much lube. Not an accident. Keck VV doesn't show. What? Okay, here's ten for show. Getting hot. <sighs> okay. Not full range of motion. Okay. I bet more than half of chat can't even do a proper push up. That was like three push-ups. Okay. Hold on. Gotta respond to something. Why are you exposing me? I'm just saying. You guys should learn to do push-ups. Imagine not being able to do push-ups. That's, that's kind of cringe.
Bully streamer? Uh oh, Twitch staff is saying I'm a bully. <laughs> Sorry, whoops. Whoops. It's 1.15 a.m. You made the push ups. <laughs> Push-ups are a great exercise. You guys should learn. Just the 10 push-ups myself? Yeah, but how good were those 10 push-ups? Can you guys actually do push-ups? The proper form. Uh, I am going to need a wipe off the room. I did a push-up once. I remember it fondly. It was spring day in 1965. <laughs> I see you're old. Uh, Solipsistic, welcome back for two months. Tidwop with the two months. I'm Merlo with the four months. Would it, would a giving a nicer keyboard to the Mungies make them type the works of Sheik Spear faster? I have no idea what just typed, but no. If I understood you correctly, no. Star Goduro, things for three months. And I'm caught up. Okay, where's Dragon Ball? What are your thoughts on Keycon K2? It's okay. I recommend Keycon to a lot of folks. Were you born in Korea or the US? I was born in Korea. Did Dave 2D pick Telios himself or did you pick for him? He picked it himself. Oh, this is way too much. Since there's already some lube in the stab housing. Why too much? Uh, any Frankenstein switches that are actually worth making? Yeah, MX Xylance, Holy Pandas, Cream Pacas, Ergo Clears. Uh, I guess Ergo Clear isn't really a Franken switch. <sighs> yeah. Any plans for a Tengu build? I don't think I have a Tengu build lined up. Creamsicles? Uh, I wasn't a fan of creamsicles when I tried it. Maybe it was, maybe I need to give it another try. Are you still a fan of Topper switches? Yes, I am. I really like black inks. Same. 안녕하세요. Uh, so did your studio setup completely change now that you're in LA? Oh, Mr. Sam, hello. Uh, did it change? It's going to, I hope. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, picking out furniture is still taking a while. But yes, I have a room for streaming now. I have a room for photo work. And then I have a... I guess an area for filming YouTube videos that's in the works. And then I will also have a podcast area. Well, podcast area probably just will be the living room, but yeah. Well, I could, I could, I guess I could film the podcast anywhere really. I could film it in the YouTube 
space or switch. Mm, it's okay. It's just this switch is the problem. Oh no, I can shift it. Can I shift it over? Let's put it there. Oh, that works fine. Backspace nut. Oh, I know why. What would an estimated cost of all? I have no idea how much that would cost. <laughs> I have built way too many keyboards. Let's say each keyboard I build, on average, for the case, mm, let's say 350 is 350 a fair price on average. On average per keyboard, 350. That's actually probably too cheap for just the case. 400? Should we see on that? Eh, 375. If we're talking just a case, obviously when you add on switches, keycaps, that'll become way more expensive, but 375, is that fair? It's a lot, but not all of them are also mine. I mean, most of them are not mine. They are client parts. 450 on average for a keyboard case? I don't know if that many people spend that much. Spacebar needs a little bit more. Are those NK creams? Yes. I forgot. Foam. Should I film Zelio's V2? I would say yes. Ooh, also question chat. What should I call my podcast? And don't say Tia Talks. <laughs> Give me a podcast name idea that's not Tia Talks. <laughs> Keebcast? No, I don't want Keeb. I don't want my podcast to scream blatantly keyboards. Typecast? I guess that's a little less, more subtle, typecast. Do I want the word type? Typecast. It's not that, typecast not bad, that's doable. Typecast. Typecast. Hey, hot tech tips. Definitely not. What about the Joe Rogan? Ex Wait, I can't just name myself Joe Rogan. <laughs> hey, hot show. Definitely not Te hot show. I don't think typecast would work though. Sounds like you'll have to, since sounds like you'll talk about 
categorizing things and maybe having controversial topics. Wait, could you elaborate? I don't understand what you just said. No redo in life. That's too long of a name. Ooh, should I make, should I name the podcast? The redo, redo podcast. No, oh, that doesn't make sense. The redo, redo podcast has, it doesn't make sense. Huh. The dry lube experience. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the dry lube experience. Wow. Uh, why not Taya Talks though? I mean, Taya Talks is like the, that's like the obvious name. So that's why I didn't want you guys to say Taya Talks. It doesn't have to make sense. That's true. I guess the podcast doesn't have to make sense. Could just be an inside joke. That is true. Bussin' with Teha, definitely not. Not bussin' with Teha. Are you pairing up with anyone? Would that have an influence on the name? Yes, I am trying to pair up with someone. But I don't think we want our names in it either. I just want it to be like something completely different, not related to our names. Because, I mean, you don't know. Never know if we might part ways down the line, swap out co-host or something. Like David Sows is called Genius Brain Podcast. Uh, I didn't know Timothy Della Ghetto had a podcast too, but apparently he's been podcasting. His podcast is the No Chasers Podcast. I want I want a, a catchy name, something like that, you know. Call it Keck W, the Keck W podcast. Talkative types. Mmm, that's kind of clever. Talkative types. Mmm, that's kind of clever. I see what you did there, Mr. Sam. I see what you did. Okay. Talkative types. Thok, talk is so good. Definitely not. I don't want the word thok in my name. <laughs> Opa cast, definitely not Opa cast. Natru things for the prime sub. Scruffs things for the nine months. Bruce things for the bits is mode 80 end game. And the end game does not exist. Magic QAQ thing for 13 months. Joey C blogs YouTube thing for five months. And I'm caught up. The rattle test. The rattle test. How are you plate mounting PCB mount switches? I don't know if I understand your question. Uh, you can plate mount PCB mount switches as long as your PCB has the whole support for PCB mount switches. What about call it click? No, I don't want my name to have any kind of uh, onomatopoeia for keyboard noises. Any blank avail? <laughs> ah, I have Mr. Coming to Stream. Glad to finally catch you on. Mr. BT Easy, hello. Welcome back for 16 months. Glad to see you back. Hello. No caps allowed? 
Oh, I kind of like that. No caps allowed. The No Caps Allowed podcast. It's got a double meaning to it. Mmm. The No Caps Allowed. Mmm. Would it be a morning, midday, or night podcast? Uh, I don't think it would be restricted to a time of day. I feel like the podcast, I'd probably just film whenever I feel like it. The logo is a stepped control key. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot of, lot of possibilities. If we go with no caps allowed. What are you going to talk about? Well, this would be just for the keyboard podcast. I still haven't really figured out the non-keyboard podcast. I don't even know if I should do a non-keyboard podcast. Okay, so I am short on creams, but I have these, uh, this mix of switches, which I don't know the specs. The keyboard cast. I am not going to do the keyboard cast. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, how do we make this work? I am missing... I need to replace two switches. Maybe I'll just... I'll put this at the pipe key. Yeah, that should work. And then we'll put... We should make them all the same switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think these are... Uh, we'll replace them. Because these have nothing to do with creams. But these at least have cream stems in it. I don't know why I made so many of these. I must have been on something. But this is a uh, this is a cream stem in a Gateron housing. Is it good? I'm gonna guess not because I probably that's why I stopped doing this. <laughs> but I have six of them made here. Kissing ASMR with Teha. What? <laughs> Unlude with Teha types. I don't know if I'll. No. No lube in my name. No lube. Okay, and then the. Uh... Hmm, I still need to put a switch here. Does this work? Still seems like it lifts a little bit. I guess we can leave it. Speaking of switch, unsleeved because of Mr. Sleeves. The best switch for gaming pot. Oh my god. The two I've liked best so far are talkative types and no caps allowed. Respectively by Samok TV and Croissant. Switch it up? No, I don't want to do switch it up. I need water. I'm going to go grab water. What kind of plate is that? This is a uh, carbon fiber plate. All right. The fan. Smart water? Yes. I must now resort to drinking smart water to at least gain back some ridges after having dealt with Twitch chat for so long. Ooh, also chat. 
I finally, so I don't know how many of you guys use the TS100, but the, uh, the stock AC adapter it comes with is rather short. I purchased a new one, a third party one off Amazon, and it is omega long now. I don't know how many of you guys had that uh, issue with it, but yeah, I can, I have freedom to put it wherever I want. Yeah, this one's like 10 feet or something. So I've got all the space I need to pull this now. Turn this back to manual. I just use an extension cable. Yeah, that works too. Using an extension cable works fine. Let's switch this over. You guys think I could finish the whole board with this much solder? That's all I got. <coughs> Amazing dust pad, by the way. Thank you. It's my alter ego. Goes by the name of Gorsis. All right. <laughs> Ray Kami, thank you so much. Ray Kami, thank you for the one year. Hello. Brother Core with the two years. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. How are you doing, Brother Core? Long time no see. And then the other question is... No, I shouldn't split it. If it's keyboards, it will go on my main channel. Okay, no splitting the keyboard podcast. Maybe I'll split... Maybe I'll split the, the non-keyboard podcast. Well, actually, let's take a vote. Do you guys even care about my... Would you guys even care for a non-keyboard podcast from me? You guys only watch me for keyboards, right? You guys even care about what I have to say about non-keyboard topics? <laughs> what would you talk about? I don't know, just life. Anything but keyboards on that podcast. I don't think I'd look to be make it instructional. I would definitely have guests. Just talk about life, whatever I'm interested in. Uh, some topics I have in mind are one, adulting, two, my experience as a transplant in Los Angeles, three, I mean, I've, there's tons of, um, there's a lot of like cool people out here in Los Angeles. I could easily bring people on and just like dig their brains. Like being a creative, the creative life. What these people do. I don't know if I would have a like overarching theme though for the non-keyboard podcast. Podcast about accessories and aesthetics. Yeah, that's definitely doable. You know, we could also talk about tech. I don't really talk about like tech, but Soju want to talk. Gomu Gomu no keyboard podcast. Uh, <laughs> OMG Teha adulting is so hard. Dude, adulting is hard. A lot of stuff. You don't learn in school though. You have to figure out as you adult. Uh, I mean, it's not even adulting. Just like, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, is that looking? I'm worried for your mouse. Don't melt it. Talk about taxes? Yeah, we could talk about taxes, running a business. Uh, not that I run a like legit business, but there's a lot of stuff that you don't, people don't know. I feel like for a lot of people, like 
running a business is kind of a black box and it's just daunting. Talk about stocks? No, I don't want to do too much finance stuff. <laughs> I don't want to be held responsible. I'm also not that big into like stocks or finance. Uh, adulting is not that hard. Just stop being a child. That is surprisingly harder than it seems for a lot of people. <laughs> Can you talk about being an independent contractor? Because I just started doing that and I have no idea how to do taxes and stuff. Uh, am I? I don't. I am not a contractor. But yeah, we could definitely talk about that. Refic, thank you for the tip. Thoughts on the Mono KX TGR Tomo? It looks dank. Uh, I will be receiving one to build. So whenever that happens, you can be sure to tune in. Adulting is quite hard, especially the emotional development part of it. Ooh, yeah. We could talk. We could also talk about. Marriage? I feel like that'd be a fun thing. Yeah, I'm like learning about like weddings right now. It's like, whoa, I never learned about this. What do I do? <laughs> I don't know if people would listen. Are weddings something people care about in chat? Do Zoomers even want to get married anymore? Aren't Zoomers not into marriage? All right, let's get to sponsor time. We have a couple sponsors of Tia Types. The first sponsor on our channel is KBD Fans. Head on over to kbdfans.com. Uh, oh, speaking of Ergo, I saw people asking about Ergo boards. There is a new Ergo board, I believe being vendored by KBD Fans. I will be sent a unit to check out. So be on the lookout for that. Ergo is all the craze right now. But of course, there's also the D60 on KBD fans, as well as the interest check for the Blade, both very interesting keyboards. Uh, KBD fans also has tons of things in stock. If you guys are in the market for affordable in stock products, check out KBD fans. Um, I could never imagine Taya being sad. Uh, yeah, I'm not that, I don't get sad that often. I'm pretty stoic. The next sponsor on our list is K, uh, sorry, Key Cult. Head on over to keycult.com. Hopefully you guys caught, ooh, the latest, uh, Update stream this week. I was there. I think the update of this update stream was there's been progress. <laughs> but yeah, keep your eyes peeled for the next key cult sale. Most likely, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping pretty soon within the next couple months. <clears throat> but yeah, check out keycult.com. Uh, Mr. Mr. Zach also showed his newborn son, very cute, made a guest appearance on the latest Key Cult update stream. Check out keycult.com. You guys already know they make amazing premium custom mechanical keyboard kits. I'm a huge fan. He's a robot, he's a machine. Best way to break in cream is just use the switch. All right, next on our list, we've got Novel Keys. Head on over to novelkeys.xyz. GMK Zooted, officially over now, but you can still pick up GMK Parcel, a set designed by Mr. Bip, as well as GMK Handerbite, round two, which has an accompanying Nocturbite base kit, which is also a must buy. One of the greatest GMK sets ever to be produced. Uh, Novel Keys also has tons of in-stock products like switches, desk mats, 
keyboard, merch, stabilizers, you name it. Uh, I do have a discount code, Novel Keys, use code Teha Keys at checkout to save 5% off in stock items. Um, I have also been told Mr. Sleeves sample, uh, sorry, the first round of color matching samples have made it to Novel Keys' doorstep. I haven't seen it, so it'll hopefully be, uh, you know, a couple days until I receive it, I guess. But I guess Mr. Sleeves round two is entering the color matching phase. It's been a while since you guys purchased that. Um, the next sponsor that we have is Omnitype. Head on over to omnitype.xyz. So look, omnitype.com. Uh, have you ever burned your hands with that? I have not. As GMK DualShock 2, still live, running until the first week of June, I believe. And of course, pick up the M6C with RamaWorks collab. Looks fantastic. Uh, I've already used DualShock on a couple boards on stream. Looks very nice if you guys are into the, the older retro PlayStation aesthetics. Definitely a keycap set you want to check out. Also, Mecha Mats back in uh, Mecha carrying cases back in stock, as well as a huge restock of uh, desk mats. And in case you guys haven't seen, check out my second to latest Instagram post. Omnitype and I worked on a pretty cool a pretty cool side project recently that we finally got to release. I do have a discount code with Omnitype. Use code uh, sweet t at checkout to save 5% off in stock items. Oh my goodness, what is the spam? Hello. Oh, there was also a new email. Looks like Dracula. There's been more updates. We are expected to start, well, assuming no delays. It seems like Dracula is on track to deliver sometime in September, I think. I forgot the email. But there is movement on GMK Dracula. Or well, more movement, I should say. <laughs> uh, Weeb Keys, think of the 14 months. Hello. I'm doing pretty good. Early August? Yeah. Early August, potentially September. The next sponsor on our list is Prime Keyboards. Head on over to primekb.com slash types. Uh, I don't, don't believe there's any keycap set running, but you can pick up a small but good selection of switches. Check out the Alpacas V2s. Check out the TTC line of switches. And you can also purchase lubricants. Oh shoot. From Prime Keyboards. They also have the Gateron switch puller. They have a RGB acrylic desk ornament that you can purchase or wall ornament. Looks very nice. Check out primekb.com slash types. Next, we've got SwitchMod. Head on over to switchmod.net slash types. That's where I purchase all of my lubricants from. I use Crytox 205 grade zero for for switches, but you can use all of the lubricants on Switch Mods website for your switches. Using my affiliate link saves you 4% off your lube purchases. Uh, last but not least, we have Zeal. Head on over to zealpc.net slash types, where you can pick up some boutique switches like the Telios V2s which are very smooth linears. Telios V2s, which are very tactile tactiles, uh, as well as the accompanying silent variants to both of them. There's the Helios, Roselios, Sakurios. And Zeal also has a new switch opener. Be sure to check that out, seems interesting. Check out zealpc.net slash types. Uh, Omnitype hasn't said anything about the A0082 desk mats, and Oblotsky already has them in stock. Wait, what? Um, I don't know about that, actually. I am not an A0082. 
Uh, want candy, JK, how do I raid? What do you mean? Extrox Reaper, things are tip. What do you think about Gateron Clears? I don't have an ex Oh man, it's been a while since I've used Clears. I couldn't tell you honestly. <laughs> I haven't touched Clears in, at least Clears from Gateron in years. Um, those creams filmed. Nope. Do you like H1? Yes. Have you seen GMK Shosh and yes? Yes, I have. H1 linears? Yes, I do. Do you recommend the BM60 or the GK64? I don't even know what the BM60 is. What's your iron called? The TS100. If you want to know all the gear I use, I have a command exclamation gear. It should link you to all the, the tools that I use. I don't get the deal with 60%. Do people actually not use function and arrow keys? Uh, people do use function and arrow keys, but you don't necessarily need to have them as dedicated keys if you don't use it often. Uh, do you have a favorite keycap profile? I think my favorite is SA. Yes, my favorite is either Cherry or OEM. Used cat for the first time and I'm in love. Nice. If you like cat, you will probably too. Um, HHKB function layers are the way. Yeah. Once you get used to using the function key and layering, it's honestly pretty game changer, I would say. Um, I mean, of, of course, there are certain jobs and tasks that require uh, having dedicated keys for to those respectively, but for the majority of people, it's not necessary in my opinion. Hey, we have finished. The new Piggy 60 is pretty sex, not gonna lie. Yeah, the Piggy looks nice. I mean, I was a fan of the elephant back when it came out. It's obviously very massive, um, which is why I personally won't be purchasing one. It's just way too big for my desk. As much as I like the bezel look, despite it being thick, it's just not practical <laughs> for me. So I don't think I'm gonna pick it up, but it does look nice. Okay. Uh, we don't even have to really check for straightness, I think. The carbon fire plate is pretty fixed. Okay. It's gonna be clacky. Ah, sheesh. Michelle, hello. Who's here? Did you enter the group by for JWK pewters? I did not. Plug this just to be safe. With. Let's see, we need the pipe key. So that's this. Stepped caps. Stepped caps. Are you going to build a Time 80 Reforged? I'm not too sure. I don't have a client at the moment. It has. Ah! I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> These are in the wrong place, I just noticed. 
Whoops. Damn it. Where's my... Eels bad. I put them where the seven U was. I thought we were seven U. Monka, hmm, this key set might be nice on this brushed SS. Which key set? You didn't link the key set. Gotta go eat dinner? All right, have a good one. How would you rate your Herman Miller Aeron? Uh, it's definitely comfortable. Okay, it's comfortable when you're serious about working. Uh, I would say there are definitely better com there are better chairs to lounge in. The Aeron is not a chair meant for lounging. It is meant for when you want work done, when you want to increase your productivity. And you need a chair that will uh, support your body for that. But if you're if you're looking for long sessions of gaming or just like being comfortable in, I would say there are probably more comfortable options. Uh, I sent six dollars ten six hundred and ten dollars to a seemingly sketch person on Craigslist today, in the hopes that they send me a Herman Miller sale. Wow. Hopefully you paid via goods and services. Uh, would you use 9009 on a silver brushed or gray case? 9009? Depends on the shade of gray. I would definitely use 9009 on silver. I don't know what you mean by a brushed case. Uh oh. The suck on this is not too good at the moment. I think this is this is entering. I need to clean it out. Suck is a little sluggish. Yeah, I didn't suck any of these. It's not returning quickly. It's probably clogged somewhere. Yeah. It didn't even suck out the, the last one. Hold on. Sucks, sucks, That landed on my cut. And it is a bad cut. <laughs> that hurt. Did you use wrong positions? Yes. I initially put it in the seven new spot because we were gonna go seven new, but we switched to six two five. 
Maple flower. Thank you so much for the 14 months. Tactile with the 14 months too. Get best set for my business. Grace salvation. Nice. Mr. Alex, thanks for three months. Clack come with a one year. Thank you. Okay, let's resolder. Whoa, Rachel, hello. A wild Rachel appears. How are you doing? Yo, Rachel's? Uh, what was it? Instagram reels kind of popping off. I see them everywhere now. I can't escape Rachel's Instagram videos. It's all over my feed on all of my accounts. I've got like three Instagram accounts. <laughs> they're cringe, but gotta do what I gotta do. Hey, it works. Not, I wouldn't say they're cringe. They just, uh, something about it. It appeals to the, to the humor aspect. Back in autofocus. Bottom of the to guess these are also well, we don't need to check that that's fixed. Okay. Let's see how straight. I can write before it shows. What? Okay, the only thing that isn't fixed here is caps lock. It looks pretty good to me. Bottom row also looks pretty good. Also need to check the backspace on this. Backspace? Looks pretty good. All right. Let's see. We missed a switch. Whoa, Miss Courtney, hello. How are you doing? What other clear housing switches? It's a uh, a test Franklin switch I made. Gateron housing and cream stem. It's okay. It's not that great. Ash. Via. Function key? Yes, okay. Function key works. Nice. The board works fine. Okay, I am going to go wash my hands. I will be right back. Oh, we got Mr. Ozzy. Hello. Hello, Mr. Ozzy. I had a question I wanted to ask Ozzy. I forgot what though. If I remember it, I will ask you. But hello, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Be right back, Jeff.
Um, hello. Okay, let's assemble the board. Now that works. For that, we are going to need to open up the case. That was fast? Yeah, my bathroom is super close by me. Don't need to walk too far. Let's flip this over. Also start by applying the feet. Who likes feet? How many of my viewers are into feet? No PCB foam. We did install the PCB foam actually. I'm going to guess these are the feet. It looks like that's the right length. <laughs> Me? <laughs> these feet are pretty thin actually. I do not want to see your feet. Why not, Mr. Ozzy? Do you not think my feet are pretty? Yes, I'm pretty sure these are not the gaskets because the gaskets are in this giant, uh, this giant one, which is also old. We were sent new gaskets to use. Well, let's actually open that. Definitely for the board. Oh, also question chat. Any any audio experts in chat? I am in the market for some dynamic mics. As I will most likely need one for the podcast. Any recommendations? I don't want... I mean, I know the SM7B is good but I would like something else. As a member of chat, I am an expert at everything. Okay. Pod mic is pog. I don't, I, I feel like pod mic is mixed, no? Electro voice, RE20. I would ideally like to avoid those two mics. The electro voice and the SM7B. If possible, I know they're good mics. I'm seeing if there's something else. AT2020, definitely not. That's a condenser mic. I need a dynamic mic. Uh, Neat King B is nice. AT is always a good brand. I see. Turtle Mic Beach, okay. Samson Q9U, I don't think I want the Samson Q9U. Sure, MB7 is really nice. I'm using a pod mic and I've been having a great time. Let's see. Linear Louis, thank you so much for the two months. Maple Flower, thank you for the 14 months. AKG C414. Okay. Okay. Sennheiser MD421-2. Okay. Okay. How come Sennheiser dynamic mics are not popular? Or are they popular? Are they just not known by layman? I like Sennheiser's mics. At least the shotgun mics I've purchased from Sennheiser all, all have been pretty nice. What do you have against the SM7B? <clears throat> Uh, two, uh, well, three things. One, I, I know SM7Bs require a lot of power. 
Um, I'm pretty sure my preamp is fine for my interface. Uh, the biggest reasons why I don't want the SM7B is one, my voice is already kind of, it's not like majorly bassy, but I do have a relatively lower voice, I think. I feel like with the SM7B, it might be a little too, it might be like too much bass, especially if I get too close to the mic and a little bit muddy sounding. So I wanted, I wanted a dynamic mic with a little bit more clarity. I mean, SM7B is nice though. I, I know it's a workhorse. Um, also just don't want the same mic as everyone else. <laughs> That's the third reason. <laughs> I want to be different, you know. Maybe I should check out the Sennheiser uh, dynamic mics. The Sennheiser MD441U is really nice. Ooh, okay, Sennheiser MD441U. Let me put that in. MD441, okay. Uh, I mean, everyone has them for a reason, they're really good. Beg to differ. I would say most people who buy the SM7B probably don't know much about the mic. They just buy it because everyone else uses it. It just happens to be that it's a good mic. But I don't think the SM7B is for everyone. It's a very dark mic. Um, which I guess is easy to listen to for a lot of people, but yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's open this up. Can't confirm. I have a few friends who got SM7B because everyone has a kick. <laughs> yeah, Joe Rogan also made the SM7B very popular. Seems hex, it seems. Condenser mic though. I don't think I can use a condenser mic in the new place. It's just way too noisy. I also don't think I'm going to treat this place all that much. So that is why... I am in the market for a dynamic mic. I also live right by a street, which is, which ended up being a little bit noisier than I expected. So. Imagine getting a mic to sound good to your friends on Discord. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Time to move again? No, definitely not. I'm not going to break the lease. Too much monies. Soothing voice with the homies. Well, I guess... No, there's no point in asking. Audio is pretty subjective. For anyone that does listen to podcasts, do you guys... Do you guys like the very, the very broadcasty kind of voice? Mr. Zen, hello. How long is your lease? I signed a 14 month lease. Do you get charger drivers with loud ass exhaust just revving their cars? They don't rev their car, but they drive fast down the street. That's actually a pretty short lease. Really? First stream caught, been loving your content for months now. Hello, thank you, Rada. Okay. I do, especially if I listen in suboptimal conditions, like car stereo or phone speaker. I see. Okay, so I have unscrewed everything. Ooh, this is a tight fit. This is heavy. Wow. All right, let's take a look at this top piece. What's the wait on this bad boy? Uh, we waited at the beginning of the stream and it was five pounds, 11.6 ounces. Okay, just to reiterate. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Oh, it's here. 
Mm. So the out exterior, it is brushed. Brushed stainless steel. Interior, and I don't think it's everywhere on the interior. For here example, it's unpolished, I think. But this, where you see the shade, the difference in coloration, that is supposedly zircon blasted. Uh, which is essentially just sandblasting, but uh, instead of sand or glass, you're using zircon. Uh, supposedly, it provides an ultra nice finish. Although, I'm not sure why you would want that on the inside. I mean, it is nice, I suppose. Does it feel exceptional? I can't tell. Uh, because the machining on this is not the best. I mean, it's soft, but I also just feel the ridges <laughs> of the machining marks. Yeah. Also not sure what happened there. You can see where the, the path this took. But do keep in mind, this is a prototype. The production unit should be much nicer, nicerly finished. That's not a word. Okay, so I am a little confused. No, no, there's no gaskets. Okay, so I need to install the gaskets. So let's get to that. Huh, that's also interesting. Looks like the uh, the wind keyless, or not the wind keyless, but the, uh, the arrow key separating blocker, it's not flush. Not, not that it affects anything, but normally this is flush. Uh, no, I don't think so. That's, that's not a bad thing, actually. I take that back. Ignore what I just said. Ignore what I just said. That's probably to reduce the gap. Okay. These meant for the right. Okay. We got some thick, oh, those are thick pour-on gasket strips. Mr. Susboards, hello. C Susboards. Hmm, the ledge that these gaskets are supposed to sit on are not long, they don't go in deep enough. You guys see how the gasket just kind of it sticks out over? Uh, hopefully this is fixed. Or maybe this is intentional. I do hope that the gasket doesn't move around though once it's assembled. The ledges are supposedly fixed for production? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think they mentioned that, but hopefully that is the case. Uh, the guy Patrick ran some good budget group buys. Yeah, I do know he has done other boards in the past. Well, I was not aware of them until after the... No, just kidding. I was aware. He had a very large selection of acrylic stuff. Has he delivered on all his old um, group buys? Merlin had to trim the ends. Yeah, this gasket also does stretch quite a bit. And then it becomes too loose for the cutout. But I think 
we're okay. I just can't be stretching it too much. Yeah, it's even without stretching it, it's a little too long. We can manage. We can just shove it in there. It'll compress. It'll be a thick gasket, but it'll compress. Okay, and they're not straight because it's too long for the cutout. It's not that I can't apply it straight. It's just too long. You know what? Fine. I'll cut it. I'll cut it. I will do. gotta cut this omega short. Am I supposed to apply gaskets at the top? There are no cutouts for the gaskets. Let me see. Uh, I believe in their post with the testing. They put it on both top and bottom, right? Okay, maybe it, given how many gaskets I was sent. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we also apply it to the top. Might just be missing the cutouts for this proto. <laughs> Do you like pears? Oh, sh yes. The fruit? Are the top gaskets slimmer than bottom? They are the same height. Right, interestingly, on the top, it looks like they're a perfect fit. Yeah, they fit perfectly on the top, but on the bottom, it's a little too long. Uh, no alley plate with this. Is that true? Well, maybe, maybe this is the board where you go carbon fiber on this. Carbon fiber is not a bad plate material. I do enjoy a carbon fiber plate build. Top ones just fit perfectly. This is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna require a lot of compression. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
Wow. So that's it on compressed. <laughs> And then I gotta compress it. But given how heavy this is with the stainless steel, it's actually not that bad to compress. Kinky Boise, thank you so much for the tier one sub. T Lexerin, thank you so much for the 10 months. We have the same shirt of mine in blue, nice. Ocho T, thank you for the tier one sub. Chef Boyari with the tier one, thank you. For your commissions, do you do full boards or only TKLs and smaller? Um, I can do full boards as well. They're just very rare. Let's screw these last ones. In. This is your first time in stream? Hello, Ooga Booga Bogo. Tighten everything. Hey, hope you're having a great day. Thank you, hope you are too. Hey, what keycap set to put on this? You should tell Redacted S to do more study streams. Really, did you like it today? Should I do study streams? Is it time to join the, the Pomodoro study with me category? My hundredth time on stream. I got paid and then immediately spent a hundred dollars on KBD. Sag. Do you have Cat Eden? Dude, imagine buying Cat Wesley. The only cat sets I have are Alpha and Milk. Oh! No, no. Yeah. Cat, Milkshake, and Alpha. Cat Eden D. I hate you, Wesley. Never heard that one. <laughs> you stupid. No, you're stupid, Wesley. <laughs> Oblivion? We could stick with Oblivion. Oblivion might look good with this. Actually, ASCII GOAT, we put on GMK ASCII on this. Cap sets fit 65% boards. Uh, uh, depends on what brand. I'm gonna say it's hard, depends on the brand. If you're buying a GMK set, then yes. If you're buying any enthusiast set, yes, they'll most likely easily cover a 65%. Um, if you're buying pre-built sets, well, not pre-built sets, but 
more budget-friendly sets off of places like Amazon or OEM vendors, there's a good chance it might not fit. At 65%. APL, we could do CRP. I'm always down for CRP. Let me see what I Just kidding, we'll do ASCII. Well, shift lock. ESDFGH. Is this hot swap? It is not hot swap. What well, keycap says that GMK ASCII ZXCV. It's 1.5. Another 1.5. ZXCVBN. M. Delete me. Um, do you have any sets of OG die subs? I do. One, two, three, four, five. I think they are currently all on board. No, I, uh, there might be one not on a board. Okay. Are those creams? Yes. Yes, they are. And I might need that home. Probably not, but I'll leave it there. W-E-R. I wasn't in the hobby yet when ASCII ran. Sag. F6, F7, 3, F11. Page up. X, peace. Do you watch AOT? I do. That's the seven. That's the off seven. What kind of lube should I use for holy pandas right now? 3204 is what I would recommend. Lock domain, probably. Bird, thank you for the 13 months. Domi with the 28 months. Maple Keys with the 7 months. Thank you. P. Do I think Aco switches keycaps are good? No. I don't even know what they look like, but they're probably not good. What's the best lube to use on NK creams? I would say go with 205 grade zero.
Any thoughts about Aqua switches? Never tried. I imagine they're not that great though. One. Ah, there's our escape. Venus. See. Any tips on lubing mounted stabs? Uh, you can take a look at my tutorial. I recommend a syringe on there. You could try using that. Function. Don't need function. Favorite keyboard you've ever built? The... Hmm. Uh, I'm probably gonna say key code number two, stainless steel. Um, kind of sucks that 205 grade zero is on Amazon. It's not on Amazon, but it is on uh, switchmod.net slash types, primekb.com slash types. Many websites you can purchase it from. Turn. Yes, we need that. Ever heard of MK61 keyboard? Nope. Hogwarts smooth. Hello, Major W. Uh, yes. How have you been so? Royal Hockle Clear or Royal True? Novel Clees. Clearing out stock of it for some reason. Uh, those are pretty different switches. Different tactile feel. Five, page up. Period, don't need, JKL. The company I ordered from accidentally sent me two Crytox tubes, and now I have nine, 18 grams of lube for one single build. Nice! You could save it for a second and third build, most likely. Oh, they have a meta key. When you have to fart on stream, do you mute yourself? That will forever remain a mystery, Jay. <laughs> I actually... I don't know if I've farted on stream. I actually cannot tell you if I have. <laughs> I, I do try to poop before I stream. I don't have to worry about that. There's our pipe key. Definitely don't need these. Okay, where is our delete? Delete. Page up, page down. Down. Nice. Uh, 
I want to build my first board, so do you recommend any 65% kit hot swaps? NK65. You want a hot swap board. Thoughts on Portico? I haven't tried it. And I don't intend to for a while, given TKC's reputation. I have not purchased a TKC product. When was the last time I purchased a TKC product? The last item I purchased was Islander. So whenever Infinity Key Islander ran, that's the last time I bought it. This board is bust. Oh, hello, Mr. Knowledge. Right, you like gray. Yeah, this is an all gray keyboard. <laughs> Respectfully, of course. Gotta add the respectfully. What's the difference between Duroc V1 and V2 stabs? V2 stabilizers, they um, implemented more of a hook where the wire catches onto the plastic. So it pops out less frequently. All right. My last purchase was Tangies. Tangies aren't even that great though. I don't think they're worth, you, you can, there's a plethora of other JWK switches that you can purchase. If you're looking for tangy level smoothness. All right, this is the Neo Element Ultimate G67 in the all stainless steel material. This is a prototype, so keep that in mind. Uh, there are some issues which I have pointed out throughout the stream. They will hopefully all be fixed um, for the production unit. Outside has this brushed look. Wait, yeah, let's weigh this now that it's fully built. Um, this does have the foam in it as well as some row five keycaps that probably won't throw off the weight too much though. Fully built with a carbon fiber plate, six pounds, 7.5 ounces, 2,934 grams. It's heavy. Why is there a dude on the bottom right corner? This is my good buddy, Mr. Glarsis. Oh crap, it's out of focus. I am picking Glarsus's nose and rubbing it all over his lips now. <laughs> all right, let us take a screenshot. Do we have mods? Can we get the bot and Castino live while I get the screenshot? Three, two, one, boom. Okay, looks like mods are all gone today. It's okay, I got this. I got this. No problem. There are no mods? Yeah, there are no mods today. Uh, prediction. Uh, start prediction. Words per minute. All right, casino is live. And the bot is live. What do you think of Tommy and its custom keyboard? He got a custom keyboard? I still have, I still don't really know who that guy is though. I just know he's big in Minecraft. Minecraft? It was Minecraft, right? Yeah, Minecraft. Zitch, thank you so much for the three months. Tomo Takeshi, thank you for the eight months. I've been good, thank you for asking. Uh, let me pause the music. Keep in mind, my, my ring finger on my left hand is hurt. I might not type too well today. <laughs> my finger is hurt. Hopefully you guys take that into account. <laughs> All right, music is paused, mic is pointed down. <clears throat> this is the first typing test on this channel of the Neo Element Ultra, Ultimate G67, built with novelty cream switches, lube with 3204, 
Uh, this, these switches have been sitting for over a year, so the lube might have, it's probably not that used. It might sound scratchy. Ignore the scratch, just pay attention to the tone. It does have the PCB foam. There is no foam under the PCB, just in between the plate and PCB. It does have gaskets, uh, carbon fiber plate, and GMK ASCII switches. I will turn. All right, all the gates are unlocked. Whew, here we go. This is what it sounds like. My mouse clicking. Imagine, it does hurt. This is a fresh wound. What was the ratio? Four, wait, 53% believed? What? Why would you guys believe on the first run of the week? Well, believers won. 53% <laughs> believed, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, we go, well, ah, that hurt, 141. A lot of people guessed 141. All right, these are what the mods sound like. use my ring finger. This is row five, so keep that in mind. Oop. I think that's a switch problem. I kind of like the sound. It's pretty clacky, but it's got a it's got a creamy undertone. It's got clacks with a creamy undertone. How would you rate the flex on the plate? This has no flex. Carbon fiber is, I would say it's pretty stiff, but. Um, it's not uncomfortably stiff, but this is, it's pretty firm. WTF is creamy undertone. I can't really tell you. It's just one of those things where you got to listen to a lot of switches and then it starts to make sense. But this is definitely on the clacky end. But it's got some cream. How this number of sounds? Hmm. Uh, 
how does it compare to the Vega? Well, Vega is very different. Doesn't this is a carbon fiber plate? My Vega was built with a half plate, I think. Should we do one more typing test? Let's do one more. One more prediction. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Start prediction. All right. Do you guys believe a second time? <laughs> Do you guys believe a second time? What are your opinions on ink blacks? I really like black inks. Should I get the Savage 65 from Canon Keys? Yes, it's a great board. I like it for the price. I'm not a huge fan of the aesthetics of the Savage, but in terms of typing experience and sound, I really like it. I don't believe in you ever. That's toxic. <laughs> Tuma Takeshi, things with eight months. Oh, wait, I read that. Thank you, though. Okay, redo, redo. Does anyone know where to get Glarsis desk mat? The group by four, it's already run. It was, I don't know if there's extra. I'm, I would, I'm sure there's extras, right? Or the extras already sell out. Okay, what is the ratio? Wow, 51% 50 doubting now. 53% doubting. Oh, went back to believers. 55% believing now. Interesting. Interesting. 55% believe. All right. What is a solid board that is cheaper than the Savage 65 but more expensive than the Tofu 65? Trying to find some nice boards. Just get the Savage 65. It's a nice board. Depends on what you prioritize. Okay. I didn't choke. That was a 150. Feels bad. Dude, I'm on fire today. I'm on fire. Two times the believers wins? Dang, that's pretty rare. <laughs> that's pretty rare on this stream. All right. Yeah, I actually like how this sounds. Um. I guess it really comes down to do you like do you like the aesthetics and finishing of this board enough to dish out for it? Uh, this is the ultimate version, so this is the most expensive, fully stainless steel. What was the price point again? Let me see. For this, the price point is six hundred fifty to seven hundred dollars. Yeah, for me, that's a pass. As much as I like stainless steel, uh, I do like how the brush looks. I don't think I care that much about the aesthetics of it to pay the premium, but the aluminum version is much cheaper. If you get a fully aluminum, uh, the base model is 260 to 280. You can get it with a there is the Element Plus G67, which is aluminum top, sandblasted and zircoated. Oh, that has a full brass bottom that is zircon blasted and nano coated. That is 420 to 450. So if you like brass, 
Dang, 420 is still expensive. I don't know. I don't see the benefits of this zircon blasting and nano coating on this prototype at least. I would have liked to see a bit more of a polished unit, a polished prototype unit, by the sorry. Um, I mean, it does feel good though. Like the blasting feels nice. Yeah, but it's really, uh, you really gotta like it to pay for it, I think, which I'm sure some people will. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the brush, brush always looks, I like it. It looks pretty, pretty good. That's cat hair. Thank yeah. you. Um, typing angle, pretty comfortable. Yeah, this is the Element G67. I, I imagine most people are gonna go for the aluminum, but for the, the deep pocket whales out there, you can consider the stainless steel. This is fully stainless steel top and bottom. The plate isn't stainless steel, but um, yeah, depends on how much you like the material. Uh, I want to get the Savage 65, however, every video I watch about the Savage 65, it looks difficult to build. You have to take a part and it looks confusing. Savage 65 is, if you get it with hot swap, is relatively easy. Um, if you're new to keyboard building, Savage 65 is a great option, I would say. It only gets harder from there. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Where do you get this board? Check out the command exclamation. There is a link to it. Yep, check out the GeekHack thread. Um, it's currently an interest check, but I believe if you follow their Discord or socials, you should be able to be get notified of whenever this board runs. Uh, too heavy IMO light boards go to, it is definitely heavy. Like this is heavy to move around. This is heavier than the bear. Oh yeah, this is heavier than the bear. <laughs> Min, hello. <laughs> Smaller though. Uh, building my car right now with cream. Should I go with the alu or stock plate? I'm a big alu fan. I like alu. Can't go wrong with aluminum. What would you choose, Neo or Vega? Um, I mean, that's easy. I would go for Vega. What switches are on your bear? I forget. What did I build this with? These might be Telios? No, they're the, uh, the OA switches, the Wook OA switches. Uh, I'm getting very special board in the mail soon. Very excited. Mm. Clamp Soli, thank you for 25 months. Think I missed a typing test? Sag. Cloudy, thank you for 21 months. Silver Willow Wing, thank you for the Prime Sub. But yeah, I don't know if they have an expected date for this, for when it will run. But yeah, be sure to check out the GeekCack post. Um. I think that's it. Anything else before we wrap up this board? Ooh. You do think it's more clacky than Vega? Hard to say. I used a carbon fiber plate on this. Carbon, fab carbon fiber by nature has a bit of clack. Um, yeah, you I feel like I can't compare it since I haven't built it with the same plate material. How do you fix case hollowness? You shove foam in there or other materials. Are you excited about any keyboard that is coming out soon? I'm excited for the Tomo. Tomo. Um, yeah, there's, there's just Tomo on my radar so far. Did you get a Satisfaction 75 round two? Nope. This might be a hot take or a unpopular opinion given people's, uh, given the Mech Madness 2020 winnings, but I don't like the Satisfaction 75. 
I probably in the minority, but I do not like the sat. I love Upas. I love Cannon Keys, but Satisfaction seventy five I do not like. You building your personal plus B anytime soon? I need to get to it. <laughs> have you seen the Wii sixty five? I have not. Okay, looks like no questions about this board. Are you guys ready? Four. Are you guys ready for a giveaway? It is a sponsored stream, which means there is a giveaway. What? Nightbot can't be reached? Oh, it's not TV. Whoops. All right. We are going to give away one unit of the Element G67. I don't know which of the variants, but we're gonna give away one of the units. All right, eligible for anyone. Keyword is going to be, what's a clever keyword? Hmm. <laughs> Neo Element. G67 Element in my element Okay, let's do in my element. That's the keyword In my element, I will pick a winner in Three minutes 605 one person will win a unit Swizz, thank you so much for the eight months. Raj Zone, thank you for the Prime sub. Mr. Apex Keyboard, thank you for the 11 months. Ooh, I also got a new, I got a new wallpaper for wallpaper engine. You guys wanna see my latest? Uh, hold on, let me check this, this is the right monitor. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's my monitor. I've been very into city pop as of late. Auto mo vehicle. Thank you so much for the prime. So. Is this worldwide? Yes, it is worldwide. How many times can we enter? You can only enter once. There is no multiple enterings for this. Ooh, I should see if Epidemic Sound has city pop music. That might be dank. Mode obscure. Things are six months. Let's talk details on the mode 65 prototype. Ooh, okay. I am down. Oh, Docker's MD. Things are the prime. Okay, it is 605. Picking a winner in three, two, one. I don't make my bed. Wow, following since 2019. They're kind of old. <laughs> Would you like to claim a free unit? I don't make my bed. You have a minute to respond. Well, 40 seconds now, 20 seconds have already passed. Oh, is this a bot account? No response. Already 30 seconds. Oh, there's a wow. Do you claim this? Yes. All right. Congratulations. 
to Mr. or Miss I don't make my bed, you have won a free unit of the Element G67. I don't know which unit though. It might be the, the ultimate, it might be the plus, it might be the normal. Uh, DM me your shipping information and I will get that shipped out. Or not shipped out, but relayed to Mr. Patrick. All right, that was it. Once again, check out the interest check for this. Check out Neo Keys. Seems like they're trying to position themselves as a new vendor slash designer. Um, as with always, new designers, new entities, uh, do tread with caution. Be careful, but uh, it seems like this person has proven themselves. They have run two previous group buys that I know of in the past. So yeah, go check them out. Don't forget to check DMs. Okay. For what it's worth, I've joined their group by before and arrived on time. All right. Looks like Mr. Patrick has proven himself to several members at least. All right. Do you like Penguin switches? Uh, I tried the one from, where is it? Kinetic Lab. They were not bad. They were a pretty good tactile switch. Please donate me keyboard. Cannot, sorry. <laughs> uh, I was going to tell you guys something. What was I going to say? What was I going to say? I forgot. When are you going to build Tomo? I don't know. I have been told I'm going to be sent one to try out. I don't know when though. It seems like there, they've, there's been some delay, so don't know yet. Uh... <clears throat> Oblivion round three. I, I don't run Oblivion. Not up to me. Ask Mr. Oblotsky. Uh, you were going to tell me you love me, daddy. Okay. Uh, time to get ready for work. Good morning for me. Good night for you. <laughs> Have a good day at work. Any final thoughts on the typing experience of the Element G67? Yeah, I mean, the gasket on this doesn't feel... I mean, it feels like a gasket of board. Uh, combined with the carbon fiber plate, it feels... It's, it's definitely a firm, but... I mean, it's gasket mount. They haven't reinvented anything. Rukia was supposed to start shipping yesterday. Jack's static in ghost mode as usual. Wait, still? <laughs> I haven't been... F I saw the latest video, but I'm not in the group by, so I'm not keeping up with that. But I hope he pulls through. <laughs> Thoughts on Rama U80 aesthetics. I love it. I love my U80. Uh, what is the difference between ABS plastic cases and aluminum cases? Well, different materials. Aluminum, heavier. Plastic, lighter. Aluminum, also more expensive. Plastic can be expensive, but we are seeing a lot of budget plastic cases nowadays. Can I have a smoochie? Dennis Bro Chill, thank you so much for the tier 2. Can I have smooch? Alright. Um, so many impatient people in this hobby, yeah. Are you a fan of Jelly Epoch? Have not tried. <laughs> uh, have you checked out the Radiance TKL? Seems very matrixy. I have not. Radiance TKL. Forty-three studio. Who this? Oh, Senmio. What the? Oh man, that is a interesting. I'm not opposed to it. It doesn't. I don't know. Maybe. I feel like if this came out early on when I started, I might have screamed over this. But it's not, it doesn't... I mean, it, it's different, but it doesn't, I don't know. I'm not crazy about this design. At least aesthetically. 
but I don't know if that's because I, I also have many keyboards now, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not crazy about this. 20 push-ups? Did someone redeem push-ups? Ah, there's 30 push-ups. It's D, DX here. Okay, NP136 and Lemon Tamago. I'll do your 20 push-ups. I think DDX is gone though. I might have to refund DDX. Have you seen the Duo S? Uh, yes, I think I have seen this post. It does look familiar. Okay, DDX is gone. I will do two push-ups. Have you seen GMK Greg? GMK Greg is old. Is it back? All right, 20 push-ups. Me? Did someone else redeem? No, I'm a refund. <laughs> Refunding you guys. <laughs> My arms are tired. Uh, so drop. Thanks for the gift of sub. <laughs> Absolute scam? Okay. Okay, that is it for today's stream. Tomorrow's stream, I believe. We are going to be building a 7V, normal stream time, 10 a.m. Pacific. We did build a prototype. When? How long has it been since we built the 7V prototype? Wait, are we going to build a... Oh. We're going to build a 7V tomorrow. <sighs> okay, who is live? You have a Polaris. No, I do not. Wait, why don't I have a Polaris? I forget why I don't have a Polaris. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> not sure what happened there. Ooh, okay, there is someone I want to raid. I don't think we've raided this person before. We are going to raid a friend of mine. Oh, we have Mr. Gok. What the? Just over a year. Okay, that's not too bad a timeline. I see. Yeah, 7V, I also wanted to join. I remember why I didn't buy 7V. 7V was around the time I was moving, so I didn't buy it. But it is a nice bore. I would have bought it if I had the means. Um, but I will live vicariously through my clients that I built a 7V for. I, I probably will have to offload keyboards within the year or next year. Uh, as we have us, uh, Jen and I have secured a date and venue. So yeah, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna need to start making payments. It's already begun, so yeah. Pay at sales might get more active the next coming months. We'll see. We'll see if I can get by. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go raid a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Brandon. He runs a YouTube channel called This Is Tech Today. You guys might have seen these videos. So your keyboards, maybe. I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to save up. But we'll see. All right. We've never raided him, so you guys know the drill. Can my fiance and I make it a double wedding? No, I'm not going to do a double wedding. Uh, you guys know the drill. Spam message. Congrats, thank you. Yeah, we we locked down the date uh, yesterday, actually. Just to have keyboards instead of guests. Mr. Gok, would you like to sponsor my wedding? I will display a 7V as the centerpiece at the reception of every guest's table. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, what is this typing software you use called? It's monkeytype.com. 
Yeah, I'm probably also going to need to do a subathon <laughs> to raise money. We'll see. Dude, weddings are... Weddings are expensive. Um, okay. Yeah, have fun in Brandon's channel. I will see you guys tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, have fun. Get vaccinated. Until tomorrow. See you, nerds. Tuxedo 7V? <laughs> no. Alright, have a good one, chat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's stream. Go check out the Element G67 as well. Uh, gonna go raid now.